Okay, welcome everyone. This is just a, uh, a brief video about how you create and edit pages within Seedbank. It's a really good way to display content without having to deal with attachments all the time and the issues that go along with opening and closing and saving those, particularly if you're using them across um, the collaboration in across your team. So basically start on the in the space in which you want to create your page. In this case I'm in the safety space. And up on the right hand upper side here is, uh, is a few different options that uh, do different things within the space. So there's option here of editing a page and also adding pages. So I'm going to click add and then you can either create a blank page or you can create a page from a predefined template. So I'll, I'll choose create a page from a template and you get a, a few different options um, based on the global templates that are saved within Seedbank. So depending on the content w you would like to display, you can choose the right option here, whether it be displaying attachments within a page, creating meeting notes, displaying multimedia content, or simply having a different layout for your page. So I'm going to choose a three column layout for the page we're going to create and just click next. and this will open up your page editor. So within the page editor it's already created a layout that includes three columns for you with some text in each column. So here's the first column, the second column and the third column. If you choose to create a blank page you can also predefine the layout of your page by going up to the top and choosing here page layout. So this gives you again a few different predefined page layout options that you can use to set out your information. So once you've created your page, you just simply go about in adjusting the text to which you would like, including some perhaps pre-entered text that you have from a Word document, or you can also do things like insert different macros. So you, by inserting macros, you go up to the top insert. And you can do things like insert images, links to other parts of Seedbank, uh, insert attachments. And if you click other macros, you get a whole list of different things that you can include on your page. Some of these are formatting, but some of these are also very useful to display different types of content and include different things like um, office documents that you may already have existing or things like task lists we have here and other things. So basically have a play around with this and see which macro suits your need. So once you've created your page you need to obviously give it a name. So do that up the top and then once you've finished click save and it'll save the page back within the space in which you're working. So you can he see here it's saved the page back within the safety space and we have the three columns we were working on. When you want to edit that page or have others edit it, simply click the edit button up the top and again it will take you back into the editor. Go about editing the, the thing you would like. And once you've done that, again click save. and it'll save your adjustments. And you can keep track of what's being edited by other people on your page um, if you're collaborating on information. And you can see who last edited the page. In this case it was myself. And if you want to view what changes were made, click view change. And it will show you highlighted what changes were made. So in this case I removed replace this text and put replacement text in. So it tells me when that was done. Um, and it gives you a key here to understand the formatting that was changed. So that's a really good way to understand who changed your, your document at which time. So if you're using this to collaborate on, on different sorts of information and you want to export that to use it in a, um, an office based application like Word or Excel, you can go up to the top and click Tools and you can export, export to a Word document. So click that you see down the bottom 
of the page here, you may just be off your screen. It's exporting that information to a page and I can open that up in Word and you can see here it's basically the information we have on the seed bank page exported into a Word document that you can use within your computer. That's a good way to make, make sure that you can capture that in a different form if you need to. So look, that, that as simple as it is, that's how you edit pages. A really good way to share and uh, collaborate across different sorts of information for all users within conservation volunteers and those within your team. So have fun.